Dr. David Jockers here in my kitchen and today we're gonna make a baking soda detox drink. And so if you're doing our cancer cleanse program, I have a whole chapter on baking soda and the, the effects of alkalinity. And so we know that our body really runs at a, our bloodstream should be slightly alkaline at a pH of 7.365. When our body is not utilizing oxygen well, when we're running off of sugar and not in, in a fat adapted state, we end up start, starting to become acidic. And we know that cancer and chronic disease grows in an acidic environment. So one way that we can help create an alkaline environment is drinking something like this, like a baking soda detox drink on a regular basis to alkalize our body. Now I will tell you, with this drink, you don't wanna do this right before a meal. I would recommend keeping it about an hour away from meals because if you take baking soda right before a meal, and you alkalize your stomach environment, you're not gonna digest your food effectively. So this would be much better first thing in the morning to boost your alkalinity or some, at some point between meals in order to give you an alkalizing jump. And the benefits of alkalinity are just better oxygenation. That means better energy, better brain function, mental clarity, cognitive acceleration. You're gonna notice that your skin is better. You're gonna detoxify and cleanse more effectively. You're gonna be able to reverse chronic disease at a much higher level. So here's how we do this. So right here, I've got my cup. I've got my little baking soda. This is a Trader Joe's baking soda. You can pretty much get just about any type, even Arm & Hammer. You can get um, baking soda as opposed to baking powder doesn't necessarily need to be aluminum free. They don't use aluminum as opposed to baking powder where you always want to make sure that you're getting aluminum free baking powder. So right here, we've got this. We take about a half a teaspoon. Okay. We put that right in. So we've got that. Got our baking soda. We take our apple cider vinegar. We're gonna take a spoonful of apple cider vinegar. It's gonna fizz a little bit. We're gonna take, you could do fresh squeezed lemon. For today's purposes, we're gonna use a little bit of lemon juice and put a, a teaspoon of that in there. So it's fizzing around real good. We're gonna go ahead, put some water in there Make it about a four ounce drink or so. Then we're gonna take turmeric, and turmeric is one of the most powerful antioxidant, anti-inflammatory agents. So we're gonna sprinkle that in. I like to put about, in a sense, about a teaspoon of that. Okay, we're gonna take ginger. You don't wanna to put too much ginger. Ginger is extremely powerful, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, synergizes with turmeric, but it's very, very, hot, bitter, and spicy. So I just put a couple shakes of that in there, maybe like a quarter of a teaspoon. Then we take the black pepper. The reason why I'm putting a pinch of black pepper in is the pepperine molecule that's in the black pepper actually enhances the absorption of the specific antioxidant in the turmeric called curcumin by 10 times. So very, very powerful for our body. Then I wanna put in some sort of a good fat, just a small amount. Ideally, I'm gonna use this XCT or MCT oil because it's really, really easy on our digestive system, produces ketones right away, which helps put us in a ketogenic state. So I just put a little capful, about a teaspoon of that in there. I mix this around. Now, if I want this to be sweet, I could put some liquid stevia in there to sweeten it up, okay? Or I could just make it just like that, okay? It's got all these powerful compounds in it and I could drink it straight up. This, the, I put the MCT oil in there, really not just because of its effect on ketones, but actually combining the fats with the turmeric enhances the absorption of the curcuminoid antioxidants. So if I just put the turmeric in without the water, I'm getting a limited absorption, still better than nothing. However, when I put a little bit of the fat in there, now it enhances the absorption. So you combine that with the black pepper and you got maximal absorption of the curcuminoid antioxidants that are in the turmeric. So then you just go ahead and drink that up. I will tell you without the stevia, it's not very flavorful, right? But very powerful effect on your oxygenation, your energy levels, your ability to detox. So absolutely amazing. So again, the baking soda detox drink we don't want to be consuming either right before or right after a meal. We want to wait at least, we want to do it at least an hour before a meal or at least an hour after a meal. 
okay? So that's the baking soda detox drink. Try that out next time. Ideally, first thing in the morning on an empty stomach to help super hydrate, detoxify your body. I guarantee you'll notice a difference.